Ever wondered how sushi came to be? Let's embark on a delicious journey back in time, all the way to the 7th century AD in Japan. Here, we find the earliest roots of the sushi we know and love today, but it might not be what you're expecting. Back then, sushi was less about culinary delight and more about practicality. See, it originated as a method of preserving fish. This was a time before refrigeration, and people had to get creative to make their food last, especially through the harsh winter months. The solution? Fermented rice. Yes, you heard that right. The rice was mixed with rice vinegar, then used to preserve salted fish. Over time, the fish would ferment, and the rice, well, it was discarded. Not exactly the sushi rolls we're familiar with, is it? As the centuries rolled on, sushi began to evolve. During the Edo period, which spanned from the early 17th to the late 19th century, the dish underwent several transformations. It was during this time that sushi started to be consumed together with the rice. However, even then, it was still primarily a street food, a quick bite for busy city dwellers. Now, you might be wondering, when did sushi become the sophisticated dish we know today? Well, that transformation came later, during the Meiji period, but we'll get to that in the next scene. What's fascinating about this early version of sushi is how it's a testament to human ingenuity. Faced with the challenge of preserving their food, the people of ancient Japan developed a method that would not only stand the test of time, but would also evolve into a beloved dish enjoyed worldwide. So, sushi was not always the delectable dish we know today, but rather a preservation method. It's a humble reminder that sometimes the most remarkable things can come from the simplest of beginnings. As centuries passed, sushi began to evolve. And nowhere was this evolution more evident than during the Edo period in Japan, spanning from the early 17th to the late 19th century. During this time, sushi started to be consumed with rice, a tradition that continues to this day. The Edo period was a time of peace, stability, and economic growth in Japan. As urban culture developed, sushi found its place as a popular street food. The hustle and bustle of city life demanded food that could be prepared and consumed quickly, and sushi fit the bill perfectly. Vendors would set up stalls along the streets of Edo, now Tokyo, offering a quick meal to passersby. The sushi of the Edo period was different from the sushi we know today. It was larger, almost twice the size of modern sushi, and was often served as a kind of fast food. It was during this period that sushi chefs began to experiment with different ingredients and flavors, leading to the creation of new types of sushi. One such creation was the Nara Zushi, an early form of fermented sushi. This type of sushi was made by packing rice and fish into a wooden barrel, covering it with a heavy stone to press it down, and then letting it ferment. After a few months, the fermented rice would be discarded, and the fish would be consumed. Over time, the process of fermentation was shortened, and the rice began to be consumed, along with the fish. This marked a significant shift in the way sushi was prepared and consumed. It was no longer just a means to preserve fish, but had become a dish in its own right. But perhaps the most iconic development of this era was the introduction of hand-pressed sushi, or nijiri sushi. This style of sushi, which features a slice of fish or seafood on a bed of vinegared rice, became a staple of Edo-style sushi and remains popular to this day. Thus, sushi began its journey from a purely practical food to a popular dish. The Edo period laid the groundwork for the sushi we know and love today, setting the stage for further innovations in the centuries to come. In the Meiji period, sushi took another giant leap towards the dish we know today. As Japan opened its doors to the West during the late 19th century, new culinary influences began to shape the nation's food scene. A significant development was the introduction of nigiri sushi, a transformation that would irreversibly change the sushi landscape. Nigiri sushi, a deceptively simple dish, consists of a small portion of vinegared rice topped with a layer of raw or cooked fish. This was a stark departure from traditional sushi forms, where rice was primarily used to preserve fish. Now, rice was taking center stage, becoming an integral part of the sushi experience. The invention of nigiri sushi is often attributed to a sushi chef named Hanaya Yohei. In the fast-paced city of Edo, now known as Tokyo, he saw the need for quick, convenient food that could be eaten with one's hands, even on the go. 
so he began to shape small mounds of rice by hand, topping them with a slice of fresh fish. This sushi was served without any additional flavoring, allowing the natural taste of the fish to shine through. This style of sushi was an instant hit, and it wasn't long before Nijiri sushi stalls were popping up all across the city. The simplicity and elegance of Nijiri sushi, combined with its convenience, made it a popular choice among the city's busy population. As the popularity of Nijiri sushi grew, chefs began to experiment with different toppings. Raw fish remained a favorite, but cooked seafood, vegetables, and even eggs found their way onto the sushi rice. This experimentation led to the creation of a multitude of sushi varieties that we see today. The Meiji period was a time of great change for Japan, and in the realm of food, sushi was no exception. The introduction of nigiri sushi marked a shift in the sushi narrative, and it became more than just a method of preserving fish. It became a culinary art form, a symbol of Japanese culture, and a global sensation. This was the birth of modern sushi, a food that would soon conquer the world. The 20th century was a time of great change, and sushi was no exception. As Japan's doors opened to the world, sushi began to make its mark far beyond its birthplace. It started to gain popularity not only domestically, but also internationally. This was a time of culinary exploration, and people everywhere were eager to try new and exotic foods. Sushi, with its unique combination of flavors and textures, was a dish that captured the world's imagination. But how did this traditional Japanese knees dish become so globally accessible? The answer lies in the technological advancements of the 20th century. The development of refrigeration and modern transport systems played a pivotal role in the spread of sushi worldwide. Before the advent of refrigeration, sushi was a delicacy that could only be enjoyed in coastal areas where fresh fish was readily available. However, with the introduction of refrigeration techniques, raw fish could be preserved longer and transported further. This made it possible for sushi to be prepared and enjoyed even in landlocked regions. The rise of modern transportation also contributed to sushi's global reach. With the development of faster and more efficient transport networks, fresh ingredients could be shipped across vast distances in a shorter time. This allowed sushi restaurants to pop up in cities around the world, serving sushi that was as fresh as if it had been caught that very day. The 20th century also saw the rise of sushi in popular culture. From Hollywood films to popular novels, sushi became a symbol of sophistication and exoticism. This further fueled its popularity and made it a gastronomic trend that transcended borders. But perhaps the most significant factor in sushi's global spread is its inherent adaptability. Sushi chefs around the world began to incorporate local ingredients into their sushi, creating new and exciting variations. This fusion of flavors made sushi a versatile dish that could cater to a wide range of palates. And so, sushi spread across the globe, tantalizing taste buds everywhere. Now, let's dive into the world of sushi making. Sushi, a culinary delight that has traveled far from its ancient roots in Japan, across oceans and continents, into the hearts and bellies of food lovers worldwide. But making it at home, it might sound daunting, but it's a craft that anyone can learn and it all starts with a basic sushi recipe. First and foremost, the ingredients. You'll need sushi rice, which is a special type of short grain Japanese rice. It has a sticky texture when cooked, perfect for forming those sushi rolls. Then there's rice vinegar, sugar, and salt for seasoning the rice. Then comes the nori seaweed sheets, your canvas for the sushi roll. For the filling, you have a world of options, but let's start with the classics. Raw fish like tuna, salmon, or yellowtail and vegetables like cucumber and avocado. And of course, we can't forget the accompaniments. Wasabi, that fiery Japanese horseradish paste, soy sauce for dipping, and pickled ginger, or gari, for cleansing the palate between bites. Now let's get down to the steps. Start by preparing the sushi rice according to the package instructions. While it's cooking, mix rice vinegar, sugar, and salt in a saucepan and heat gently until the sugar and salt dissolve. Once the rice is done, mix it with this seasoned vinegar mixture and let it cool. Next, slice your fish and vegetables into thin strips. Lay a sheet of nori seaweed on your working surface and spread a thin layer of rice over the bottom half. Add your fish, vegetables, and a small amount of wasabi. 
Then, roll the nori seaweed carefully, forming a tight roll. Finally, cut the roll into pieces about an inch thick. And there you have it, sushi made right in your own kitchen. Serve it with soy sauce, pickled ginger, and a bit more wasabi. With this basic recipe, you can start your sushi making journey at home. It's a beautiful blend of art and cuisine, a testament to the rich culinary traditions of Japan. So why not give it a try? You might just surprise yourself. Sushi has come a long way from its humble beginnings. Originating in Japan in the 7th century AD as a means to preserve salted fish, sushi has undergone several transformations over the centuries. It evolved from a simple street food during the Edo period, with the rice and fish being consumed together, to the modern nigiri sushi we know and love today, introduced during the Meiji period. The 20th century saw sushi gain popularity both domestically and internationally. Thanks to improved refrigeration and transportation techniques, sushi has become a worldwide delicacy. We also took a peek at a basic sushi recipe, a delightful combination of vinegared rice, nori seaweed, raw fish, and vegetables, served with soy sauce, wasabi, and pickled ginger. This simple recipe can be customized to suit individual tastes. Next time you enjoy a piece of sushi, remember the centuries of evolution that have gone into creating that bite-sized delicacy.